Hello friends, my name is Abhilash Saini and welcome to my YouTube page called Great Geophysical. We have RGPR introduction which is basically the playlist that I just started and I have a currently going on uh, playlist basically in which we talk about the you know basic processing and basic uh, theory behind all the tools that we use for the prospecting and uh, today we are going to talk about the GPR Pi, a Python based open source software basically for the GPR prospecting and uh, in which we can visualize the data as well as we can process the data for CMP, for uh, WARR prospectings as well as for the profiling. So let's dig in. So first step, we have to go for the link. Let's go to the Google and type uh, GPR Pi and hit enter. That will direct, direct us to some sort of links. Let's go for NSGeophysical page, NSGeophysics and subsegment is GPR Pi. So we are on the page. Now step two, let me introduce you to the you know basic uh, documentation related to the GPR Pi. We have this sort of uh, list in which we can go for our license. The readme.md we can go for a migration special part here. So install migration.py is a script basically written in Pi. We we totally gonna need this to use the migration and we have the setup.py so this is the main source file so this is going us to give the basic picture of entire structure of gpr pi we have gui uh, images like this one and this one so basically gpr pi is an open source ground penetrating radar processing and visualization software supported by national science foundation grant given under this link so basically you can click on it and go for that so here we have the first graphical user interface for the profiling section we have this profile here which is totally going to show us the elevation corrections and uh, as this elevation this topography is changing the elevation is changing basically and we can see the structure beneath the surface and this is the profile position and both are in meters so as long as we have defined a very beautiful velocity model for the region then we can have such structures also so we can see all this so we have this processing modules so basically we gonna import using this button and apply all these in series and uh, we are going to do it in our upcoming videos we have this user interface for the uh, common midpoint data as well as for wide angle reflection and refraction data so basically we have this uh, uh, cmp data collected and we can convert it into the velocity models as you can see on the left hand side of the screen so these are the modules for the cmp and war data so here are the installation guides and of course we how we going to run the software so basically there are two different uh, uh, modules one is for profile section as well as another is for the velocity so you can have a, a automatically generated script and you can use it using this command here uninstall and all these things will be covered up in our my upcoming video so stay tuned